Hello everyone! In this video I will show you how to do a program that will allow you to play trees on your computer starting from nothing. Nothing, yeah. You will build this from scratch if you follow my instructions. And then of course you can put more things into this project and you can do beautiful things such as a power 4 game or a Connect 4 game, or oh, beautiful things. This is just the first stepping stone. So, let's start. I want to be random, so I'll import random. Then I will import IPA game. Then I will import uh, this other thing and this other thing. You will need Python 2.7 and Pi game to follow this tutorial. Uh, they're very easy to download, just search for them on the internet and you will be able to download them. So right now this is a comment so it does actually nothing and then we are just seeing what the colors are. We have white, black, blue, green and red. Okay, so these are wait a second please. So these are all the different colors. White is 255, 255 and 255. Black is zero, zero and zero. Blue is zero, zero and 255. And yes, yeah, so on, so on. There is a particular way to do this, but just just know these colors and just write them this way. There, here we have the color of your circle, the ground color, and the list with all the colors. This actually is not so useful now that I think about it, but no problem. Now, let the game start its setup at pargame.init. So, yeah. This is just some technical stuff that you have to copy exactly as you see it here, okay? So, there's not something too much about thinking. It's just a thing that you copy. So, you just copy it from these to, to from here to here, okay? Then, uh, here we have the Casale. The squares, okay? And now we say, let's start running. And they say, while it is running, fill the screen with the background color. Of course, this makes sense. Because we want the background to be of the background color. So we say, screen, fill, background color. Then we say, okay, now you must look carefully if you see any kind of event. An event is something like uh, a uh, thing that it was on the keyboard or a mouse that is moved or something like this okay so for event in p game even dot get if the user presses quit he quits so yeah this is pretty clear actually uh, if event type equals quit p game dot quit and six dot exit so, sys.exit means that it will close the window. Then, if the event is a key down, then the player, if it presses 1 and the casella, the square number 1 is empty, then it will become the player and it will be the turn of the computer. Okay? Otherwise, you, it is the same for all the different keys, for example, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. If you press space, then uh, we will have we will restart playing because all the different caselle, the different squares, will become empty. Okay. So uh, this is the turn of the computer with an emergency counter. So if it, it if it becomes too too long, then we just quit and stop its turn. Okay. So. Uh, dear computer, if you can win, win. And yeah. what you've just seen is some artificial intelligence of the computer. It may seem like something very, very complex, but in fact, it isn't. Because if number one and number two are the, of the computer, and number three is empty, then you have to do to go on number three. Okay? So if you think about it carefully. It's very, very simple and easy to understand. It's just a little bit uh, boring to read it all, okay? Uh, 
then if the player can win, block him. And it's the same thing. If one and two out of the player, then and number three is empty, then you go on number three. And this is it. It's very simple. And it's a little bit long, actually, but... And then we have the random thing. So B is a random variable, and... Uh, it's just select things randomly, so if it is empty, the computer will go there. And here we have our emergency counter. If it is more than 200, we will break. So now it is drawing time. This draws the board, there are just four lines, and the board will be drawn. The circle and the crosses, so draw cross is these. Draw cross in the first square, in the second square, in the third square. It takes a little bit of time because you have to look to the points and see where the points are and actually it may take some dedication. But apart from these, it's very easy and simple. And yeah, these are the circles. And uh, this is just uh, when the square is of the player, just draw it. And this is two lines of technical stuff, don't change them. And this is the end of this program. It is more than half a thousand lines, but they are pretty simple. And now we're going to run this program. Okay, and here it is, here we have our program. Uh, we, if we type numbers, we will take control of the uh, square. So we take control of the fifth square, then we will take control of the ninth square, then we will take control of the full of the fourth square, and then of the sec of the third square and of the second square. And this is the end of the battle. Now, uh, uh, let's start with first, let's start first, and let's put the first, here one in the center, then I think I will put, mm, let me think about it, I think we'll put nine, and two, oops, I lost, no, number nine, Number five, and yeah, and I can win. Number three, and number seven. Yeah, I am the winner. So as you can see, this is a very fun game. You can play it with your friends, or with whoever you want. And this, I think this is pretty beautiful because we just mm, yeah, some lines of code, but that code is very, very, very simple. And in such a small time. Uh, we, you can create a beautiful thing. It took me about two hours or two hours and a half to do this beautiful Python trees game. So well, I will do just uh, two games just to show you that it works perfectly and flawlessly. Uh, number nine. Yeah, yeah. Because I made. A double attack and now I win. Awesome. Really, really awesome. Another double attack and I win. And this is going to be the last play of this game. Yeah, the last match of this video. Let's see. 7, 8, 6, 1, 5. And there's a tie. Thank you for watching. And you too can do this. Bye bye. And that's the end of this video.